according to someone who seemingly works for Apple, scrolling in mobile Safari is due for a change. Over the weekend, Daring Fireball's John Gruber posted an article criticizing accelerated mobile pages from Google. We're not going to get into the particulars of whether or not accelerated mobile pages are a good thing or a bad thing. I have my own personal opinions about that. I'm sure a lot of you do. One of the things that he focused on in particular were the scrolling differences between accelerated mobile pages and normal Safari pages. Here's normal Safari, mobile Safari, and you can see the inertia scrolling. It is very different from pretty much every other app in iOS, including stock iOS apps. For one thing, it's just a lot slower, as you'll see here. Now, here is the accelerated mobile page version of the same article that I was just on, and notice the scrolling differences. The inertia scrolling is completely different than the normal mobile Safari scrolling. And whether or not you like normal Safari or the way it scrolls right here is gonna be up to you, obviously. But the fact is, is that scrolling in a normal mobile Safari page is much different than the accelerated mobile page version. And it's also much different than every other app pretty much on iOS. For instance, even the apps Apple makes feature the same type of scrolling that you would find with an accelerated mobile page. So Safari really is the anomaly here as it's been since its inception back with the original iPhone. So we're all used to the way Safari normally scrolls, which makes navigating accelerated mobile pages kind of weird feeling, right? Even though it's really, it's Safari that's the weird one, it's the real anomaly here. But when it comes to web browsing within Safari, you're expecting the performance to be the same across all web pages. Interestingly enough, however, Gruber in a follow-up post included an excerpt from someone who seemingly works for Apple. And what he says is that the inertia scrolling that we're currently used to with mobile Safari is scheduled to change. It's actually going to be just like it is in accelerated mobile pages. So in other words, scrolling in Safari will be the same as scrolling in other apps within iOS. And this change is scheduled to appear within an upcoming version of Safari. We're not far from WWDC. In fact, we're just two weeks out so we could see the scrolling change within mobile Safari and iOS 11. What do you guys think? Is this a good change or a bad change? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.